the world's most indebted property developer, China's Evergrande is drowning under mountain of debt. Is it going to be China's Lehman Brothers? In this video, we are going to talk about who is Evergrande? Is it going to be China's Lehman Brothers moment? Its effect on Chinese along with the world economy and how you can benefit from it. Hi, my name is Sunny and I make videos that affect a common man financially. If you are new to this channel, please smash that like button as it will help me with the YouTube algorithm and it will be highly appreciated. Property development has been a key driver of China's economic growth where local governments rely on revenue from land sales, families invest in property while developers are able to borrow easily from state banks. Debt was used to fuel this frenzy for growth which is okay in good times but when the tides turn it can be a hard obstacle to overcome. That is exactly what is happening with Evergrande who is sitting on over 300 billion dollars of debt and now the fear is they might not be able to pay their interest and debt obligations on due date thus there is going to be a default. Doesn't it sound familiar? which has happened repeatedly where companies have raised an ever-increasing mountain of debt with even giving it a thought now that how they are going to pay it from their cash reserves. Its share price have plunged nearly 80% so far this year with trading in its bond repeatedly halted by Chinese stock exchanges in the last few weeks. There is a saying if you owe $1 million to a bank it is your problem but if you owe 1 billion dollars to a bank then it's a bank's problem. We all are familiar with Lehman Brothers who went under with debt obligation of over 600 billion dollars which led to 2008 global financial meltdown. This company has got over 300 billion dollars in debt. Some are even saying there might be some off balance sheet obligations too. Who knows? It looks very solid financially on paper with billions of dollars of assets which were way more than their liabilities. Its founder seems very well connected with the ruling party in China. But if you look closely now there are chaotic scenes of hundreds of angry creditors outside their offices demanding their money back. There is something which obviously does not make sense. They might be sitting on land bank unfinished or finished projects but when there is a feeling in the market about its liquidity like all real estate companies the value of its assets will have to be tested in the markets. Sounds familiar? This is what happened with Lehman Brothers as they had billions of dollars of assets on their books but when the markets become uncertain about their financials which led to liquidity crunch as a result, they can't even sell their assets at a discount since now investors were waiting to have even better deals. There are reports in the markets that suggest Evergrande might have started liquidating their assets or even swapping them in exchange of debt. Now the losses will be spread across stakeholders which may not lead to an immediate implosion but a slow burnout. There might be local as well as international banks who own this $300 billion debt. Therefore, there might be challenges to its orderly winding down. Real estate has been a key driver for China's economy for decades. Thus, a common man has also invested their hard-earned money looking for growth. It is very tough to imagine that the government will not do anything since it can have far-reaching implications on the general population. On the flip side, the government may not like it to be seen as bailing out rich billionaires too. Some experts are even saying Evergrande may be the biggest test the China's financial system has faced in years. The government has got lot of leverage over state-owned Chinese banks which might be used to extend their debt beneficial both to banks and the company. There is another school of thought that the government might not be that generous with the foreign banks who own its dollar denominated debt. In the end, foreign banks might end up taking more haircut than the local Chinese banks. 
That is why I think it might have got global implications and compounding effect on the global economy. In my limited wisdom, I think the next couple of weeks is going to be very turbulent for stock markets around the world. Not every stock will be materially affected, but the market sentiment will pull even the unrelated companies down. That is how stock market and the human sentiment behind it works. Now, if there is an unrelated financially sound stock that you always wanted to buy, but is selling at a discount because of the market sentiment right now, this might be a good time to add it to your portfolio. Money is not made when you sell stocks, rather when you buy them at the right price. Hope you get the idea. As a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. Please consult one before investing. This is my take on the topic, Evergrande, China's Lehman Brothers. If you like the content that I make, please help me and my channel by liking, sharing and subscribing to it. Thanks for watching. See you next time in the next video on your own channel. Sunny Snippets.